Hi there. Taking photographs under the water for a few years now, I've learned there are a few things that you can say to people when you're directing them that can make a huge difference to the way your images turn out in the end. I don't direct people too much when I'm photographing them and it can really depend on the circumstance from one situation to the next, what I tell them before we take photos. In almost all cases, the people I'm photographing under the water know I'm photographing them and it's, a, it's an agreed scenario that we're participating in. I prefer to photograph people both above and below the water. Photographing fish life or underwater features, it's not so appealing and isn't the subject of this video. I'm far more interested in the alternate reality people freely enter when they venture under the sea. That's what I try to capture in my underwater photography. There are some wonderful candid shots of people swimming in the surf, for example by Trent Park and Norel Ortio, that might be called street photography under the sea. I really admire that work, but it's not something that I've replicated. This sort of underwater photography has an immediacy and an impact that I find invigorating. But having cut my photographic teeth photographing people that I know and that I'm directing, here are some of my tips about what's best to say to people when you're photographing them. For more technical advice, please see my other videos. I always encourage people I'm photographing to just be themselves, rather than trying too much to strike a pose. The best images to me have come out of my subjects just playing, spinning, twisting in the water, floating, diving, and swimming freely. It almost goes without saying that I want to understand the swimming ability of the subject I'm photographing. Are they a strong swimmer? How long can they hold their breath? Do they understand buoyancy and equalizing? Knowing this helps me understand that we're having a photo session and not a swimming lesson. Which brings me to the fact I need space. This is particularly the case with kids who might want to swim closer when we're in deeper water but I need a bit of space between myself and the subject to frame and compose the image. As an added bonus, this can encourage confidence and independence in a child swimming in deep water. So a bit of cajoling in this direction really doesn't hurt. The other thing to say about deep water is that it can often be clearer than the water nearer the shore, where sand and silt might have been kicked up by waves or feet. So moving into the deep water is often an advantage. Generally, my subject is wearing a swimsuit, obviously, but it can be worth giving it some thought if there's a particular narrative or feel that I'm trying to achieve. I always think, as a general rule, any swimsuit that's too busy with patterns or flouncy bits can be a distraction to the final image, and that's especially so when the mood I'm going for is otherworldly and ethereal. So if my subject has the option to wear something plain, then I say, go for that. I should note also that the goggles people wear or the accessories they're using have the same impact. When I can, I ask my subject to remove their face mask or their goggles and to open their eyes when they can. Just as above the water, the interaction with the subject without the intervening face gear can make a huge difference. Alas, this is not something I can always convince my subjects to do. Even if not removing a mask, I might ask my subject to remove the snorkel from their mouth. The snorkel really distorts the look of someone's face. So unless that's what I want, I might ask them occasionally to remove their snorkel for a shot. It is remarkable the number of swimmers who hold their breath in their cheeks rather than in their lungs. Regardless of its impact on length of breath hold, which is minimal, it just makes people look unnaturally bloated. I guess some people do it subconsciously without realizing. I point it out to them when I notice it, sometimes I don't even notice. People look so much better and natural when they have a relaxed rather than a bloated face. When I'm getting a shot of someone ascending or descending, I always ask them to wait for me to dive down to get into position before they start diving. I always ask them to give me a few seconds so I can position myself. It might seem obvious, but it doesn't hurt to point it out. 
especially if your subject is not a photographer they may not realize there's some setup time that you need before you can start it's also worth pointing out to them not to wait too long you're only working on one breath hold after all depending on the shot i'm trying to get i will ask my subject to move and create bubbles or not this can make a big difference to your final image i try to approach this aspect with intention with an eye on my desired final image to bubble or not to bubble I make my subject aware of where the light is and where the composition will look good and where I want them in relation to it or I just move myself <laughs> to make sure I'm in the right spot telling my subject what I'm up to and why includes them as a collaborator in the creation of the image makes them more inclined to want to do what you want them to do when there's several people being photographed, I try to photograph people separately, or at least get separation between subjects in the frame. With subject crossover, the composition always looks messy, so I encourage my subjects to separate. I encourage my subject to be patient and to repeat actions to be sure I've captured the image. We've both invested a lot of time in this exercise. A few extra minutes won't hurt if it means the difference between getting the shot and not getting the shot. But above all, it's that first piece of advice I gave, which is to have fun and play with it. Act natural, just do what comes naturally. Oh, and to take loads of photos because you will always need more photos than you think and the hit rate under the water is not as great as it is above the water. That's it, I'm Lucien, I take photos above and below the water subscribe to my channel, like my video, all that good stuff. See you next time.